positive Ross man. You'll need an HID kit with bulbs and ballasts, needle nose pliers or wire cutters, a ratchet, a sharpie, little old heat gun, some scissors, power plug adapters, and some heat shrink electrical insulator. And finally, a wiring harness. You're going to remove one of your ballasts from the box and remove one of your headlight bulbs and test fit it. Make sure everything fits snug. Next, take out your ballast and locate the positive and negative wires. Compare them to the positive and negative wires on your headlight ballast. Prepare your power plug adapters. Remove the positive and negative crimps from your headlight ballasts. Twist the raw wire with your thumb and forefinger so it fits into the power plug adapter snugly. Take your heat shrink tubing and cut it into fourths with your scissors. Before you plug in your wires into your adapter, you're going to take a piece of this heat shrink tubing, place it over the positive and one over the negative, and then plug it into your power plug adapter. Next, slide up that heat shrink tubing to the base of the adapters. Bust out your little old heat gun and apply heat from the front to the back, and then circling around again. So this next part isn't mandatory, I just wanted to make sure everything was sealed up nice. I take a drop of super glue and apply it on each side. And of course mark positive with a plus sign and negative with a little dash. Time to do the same thing to the wiring harness. Move the positive and negative ends from the cap. A piece of tubing over the positive and negative ends. Then plug directly into your adapter. Again, slide both the positive and negative tubing up to the base of the adapter. Here comes that little old heat gun. Your movements should start from front to back and not stay in one spot too long. Do you remember what side was positive and negative? Luckily, the larger side was positive. Now your headlight ballast can be connected to your wiring harness. Each headlight ballast will have a true ground that needs to be connected to the chassis of the vehicle. Looks like I forgot to install the HID bulb holder on the back of this headlight housing. All it takes is three small Phillips screws to get us rolling again. Next, very carefully remove the surrounding cover for your HID bulb. Do not touch the bulb with your hand. The oil will cause the bulb to explode. Very carefully insert your bulb into the headlight housing. Next, connect your dimmer switch from your headlight housing to the dimmer switch on your wiring harness. Disconnect your battery from the terminal, starting first with the positive and then with the negative. Finally, reinstall your headlight back into the vehicle. Just do the steps in reverse. I forgot I was supposed to remove the turn signal first. You've got one screw off to the left here, one off to the very far right, one in the back, and one in the top left, which I put in later. Just repeat these steps on the right side. And you can finally install that turn signal again. Locate a spot on the inside of your engine bay that isn't too far away from your HID bulb for your HID ballast. And if you haven't done so already, connect your dimmer switch. Found a bolt to loosen to connect the true ground. You want to make sure that there's no paint in between your ground and the actual wire itself. 
I decided to remove the air filter so I could have better access to the area that I wanted to drill for my headlight ballast. Remove the sensor by pressing down really hard on this tab and wiggling back and forth. Make sure all of your bolts are loose before you begin wrenching around on things. Then gently pry off the tubing. Remove the top half of the cover and set aside. Locate the exact spot where you want your ballast to fit and drill it in. Plug in your positive and negatives from your wiring harness to your headlight ballasts. Plug in your headlight bulb to your headlight ballasts. Reinstall your air filter top half. Make sure that there's nothing in the way of your housing. This part took way longer than it needed to. I couldn't figure out what was in the way. It wouldn't snap shut though. In times like this, do not freak out. Just take a big deep breath and don't forget to be positive. Go to your positive wiring terminal and use your ratchet to remove the bolt. will be the area that you will be attaching your true positive from your wiring harness. Be sure that thing is tight, you don't want that coming loose. Located another area to attach the balanced true ground. found the perfect spot for my ballast. The only problem is the battery is blocking. Not a problem, just remove these bolts here. That should free up some working space for the ballast. I tried to save some time by screwing in the bolt first. It kind of backfired because I couldn't really get it out. I had to use a ratchet attachment. And finally, the screwdriver attachment was what did the trick to finally get that thing out of there. Round two, fight! Finally, connect your positive and negative from your ballast to your headlight. There's a rubber grommet that will waterproof your headlight. Go ahead and feed your wires through that and slide it up into the back of the headlight. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and insert your bulb into the back of the housing of the headlight. There's a tiny little metal piece that holds the bulb in there. Not the easiest to install once the headlight has already been installed in the vehicle. Should have thought this one through more. Next feed your wires through that rubber grommet the rest of the way and close it off so no water or any material can get inside. Connect your adapters from your positive and negative bulbs to your headlight ballasts. Connect your dimmer switch and the plug that actually plugs into the headlight socket for your wiring harness and attach it to the vehicle. And shortly after this my camera ran out of battery. Oof. 
it's all good because that was the last step and all you need to do now is connect your battery. Thumbs up and share and don't forget to be positive to one another.